Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install MySQL 8.4 on Amazon Linux 2023 EC2 instance. So first connect to Amazon Linux EC2 instance. See this is the Amazon Linux EC2 instance. Click on it. See it is Amazon Linux and its AMI name is 2023 which means it is Amazon Linux 2023 EC2 instance. Now connect to it. CMD. CD down. Click on connect, connect it by using SSH, hit enter. See, I have successfully connected to Amazon Linux 2023. Even we can also verify more slash OS hyphen release. See, I'm on Amazon Linux and its version is 2023. Control it to clear screen. Now install MySQL. Go to mysql.com. Click on downloads. Scroll down. Click on MySQL community downloads, click on M repository, then copy the first one that is MySQL 8.4. Click on this download, then right click and select the copy link address, then go to Amazon Linux EC2 instance, then type duplicate, paste it, hit enter, ls, see here we have the RPM. Install it, sudo dnf, install. Then copy this one, right click, paste it, hit enter, type i for confirmation and hit enter. See it is going to install MySQL 8.84, that means 8.4, hit enter. It is success, now install MySQL, control to clear screen, now install MySQL server, sudo dnf install mysql hyphen community hyphen server hit enter see it is going to install mysql version 8.4.2 ok hit enter type 5 and hit enter we have successfully installed mysql 8.4 let us verify the status of MySQL service. sudo systemctl status mysql d dot service hit enter. See mysql service is there but it is not started. So let us start it. Control L to clear screen. sudo systemctl start mysql d hit enter. We have successfully started MySQL service. sudo systemctl status mysql d hit enter. See MySQL service is started and running 12 seconds ago. It is also enabled. Now get the temporary password cat var logs mysql dot log then grep password. We have to run this command with sudo. See, this is the temporary password, okay, from this R to this I. This may be not same for you, okay. So, let us connect to it, sudo mysql hyphen u root hyphen p, then copy this password. Hit enter, right click, hit enter, see, we have successfully connected, see. The version is 8.4.2. Even you can also verify. Select version. Show version. See, this is, this command is correct, but we have to set the password for root account. The first step after connecting to MySQL server is we have to set the password for root user. Alter user. Alter user. Root. At the rate localhost. Identified by. Identified by. Provide new password. We have successfully set. Now run the select version. See, we have installed MySQL 8.4.2. Okay, now exit. Connect to MySQL again with a new password. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide this password. Hit enter. Provide the password. See, we have successfully connected. Show databases see these are the default databases comes with mysql 
let us create a database in this Amazon Linux EC2 instance. Create database arthroscopes. Show databases. See, new database is added. Let us create sit tables in this database. Before that, we have to switch to this database by using the command use. Then provide the database name, put semicolon. Now database change. Let us verify list of the tables, show tables. See, I don't have any tables. Let us create a table, create table student snm int primary key. S name var care 50. See it is typo. Hit enter. Show tables. See one table is there. Now let us insert some data into this table. Insert into table name values. Insert one more row. Again it is typo. Now insert one more row. This time I am going to use the same 101 as student number but I am changing S name. This will throw error because here I have created table S name as primary key. So it won't allow duplicate. So we have to give unique values for the primary key columns. Give the 102 and hit enter. Now we fade the data. Select star from student see this is the data that we have inserted in the table student but star means it retrieves all the columns of the table but if you want to select the particular columns like s name s name from student see we got the same but still if you want only this particular s name column select s name from student From student now let us create a user create user James identified by provide the password again it is typo so give the caps see you have successfully created let us verify list of the users show users but this will throw error because we don't have any comment for the show users okay let us verify select user from mysql dot user put semicolon see here this is the user which you have created now exit if you want to restart mysql you have to use the command sudo systemctl restart mysql d now verify the status again sudo systemctl status mysql d See, we have restarted 7 seconds ago. If you want to stop, you have to use the same pseudo system CTL. Just give stop and give the MySQL D. Hit enter. Now verify again pseudo system CTL status MySQL D. See, MySQL service is stopped. Now control it to click screen. Now let us connect to MySQL. MySQL hyphen U root hyphen P. Then provide the password of root user. See, we are unable to connect. Why? Because it is stopped. So let us start it again. Pseudo system CTL start MySQL D. Hit enter. Verify the status again. See MySQL service started 4 seconds ago. Let us connect to it. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide the password of MySQL user. See we have successfully connected. Let me exit. Now try to connect to MySQL with the new user that is James MySQL hyphen u username is James hyphen p hit enter provide the password. See you have successfully connected but if you try to switch to after scores it won't allow it will throw error. See access denied for the user to the this database so we have to grant privileges on this database to this user otherwise it will not allow okay exit
So in this video we have seen how to install and configure MySQL 8.4 on Amazon Linux 2023 EC2 instance. For more AWS or MySQL videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.